Saturday the 8th of September 2012 and it's all very autumnal, misty, still, chill, with a community fun day and you can just see that it's misty. Anyway, the fact that I'm going this way whilst listening to Business Daily means that I'm going to Newport at the Godfrey Morgan and the pen and wig and that tells me there's a WhatsApp message incoming I wonder if it's from someone who's thinking about a 10.1 inch tablet who knows so last time I did this I got completely soaked coming back from the Godfrey Morgan Today it's supposed to be 21 degrees Celsius. We shall see. And here's the gratuitous advertising of your smile. And this is Newport. It's Stoke Hill in Newport. And this is a bit foggy as well. I have to use caution. Anyway, this way, this way, <laughs> this way lies the pen and wig and Starbucks. I think uh, a venti latte with emergency free whipped cream while I'm still a gold member. That would be a plan. Very misty. It is autumn, you know, or as the Americans say, the fall. So now I am post coffee, and here we are at the Godfrey Morgan, which is good. Now, there we go. According to the bar, and the tail on the bar, this is a super premium beer, mainly because of the strength. It's Ringwood's Old Thumper. This is a great name, 5.6% alcohol by volume. And it looks superb. <laughs> and yeah, that's an old thumper. It means really thumpy. Oh, that's full of flavour. That's going to knock me out. I'm going to give that a B++. Which on the untapped level on it, I think is four stars. Wow. And number two. Ooh, by the way, I've got a tweet from those tiny rebel boys saying, Pen and Wig is excellent for Newport and Kiwis in Cardiff is a place to go. So we might have need to have a look at that one. Okay, uh, this is Broadside by Admins. He says, check in like the wind. Yes, 4.7% alcohol by volume. I think I've had this before. Uh, reading Stuff magazine. Mmm, creamy. Nice flavour. There's a picture of the. Um, yeah. Mm. That's a big plus. Exmoor Gold, which I think takes me back to Plymouth in 2010, July. And I'm desperately looking at the alcohol by volume, which is 4.5%. And they do keep pipes clean, although they Anyway, that doesn't taste particularly good. It looks particularly good. But it tastes, I wouldn't say watery, but not flavoursome. I'll give it a B plus anyway, but it's good. 
I need to go back to Plymouth. I had a good time down there. And the Pen and Wake Tiny Rebel HQ. And Bar Billiards. And here we are. This is smoked oak. It's like out, but it's out stout by Tiny Rebel Brewing Company. 5% alcohol by volume. Looks great. It's very sunny outside. And there's 5 bars of 3G service from O2 and G. And I'm already a little bit tiddly. $14.99 for the Classic Rob magazine with um, the re-recorded machine head in it. I'm still in the state of shock. Anyway, Barbell is. Oh, that's smoky. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a minus. Well, in Tiny Rebel, 